Hey everyone, today's video is about an actor, a character actor, which I always found a curious term because aren't all actors character actors, uh, is about a man by the name of Victor Blono. Now Victor Blono is best known for uh, portraying Edwin in the movie Whatever Happened to Baby Jane in 62, and probably one of the most beloved villains on the Batman TV show in the 60s. He played King Tut, I think a total of 10 episodes of Batman. In real life, he was a, an accomplished Shakespearean actor. He was a poet. Uh, he was a um, he recorded comedy albums, and he was, he was a very successful man. He was nominated for a Best Actor award for uh, the Academy Award for Best Actor for whatever happened to Baby James, but he didn't win that year. Uh, he died in his ranch house in Apple Valley, California, of a heart attack. I'll show you that house in a little bit, but I thought it would be fun to revisit some of the Whatever Happened to Baby Jane locations around Hollywood. They filmed Baby Jane, the soundstage they used was Raleigh Studios, but they filmed all sorts of cool buildings around Hollywood that I was able to track down. So we'll do that first, and then I'll get into the death of Victor Bono. Bono was 34 years old when the film was released in 62, starring Joan Crawford and Betty Davis. This is the exterior of the house at 172 North McCadden Place in the Hancock Park area of Los Angeles, which has interestingly been blurred on Google Maps. The interiors of the film uh, were shot on the Raleigh Studios lot. This is the back side of Raleigh. This is the old part. I believe this is the oldest running studio in America. Uh, I went through several incarnations and lots of classic television programs were shot here in movies, but, uh, and also including the movie, uh, the interiors for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, they were shot in this lot as well. But uh, whatever happened to Baby Jane, the interiors were all shot on this lot and the entire neighborhood was actually used in the movie. The house isn't very far from here. Elvira's bus stop, Western costume, you saw that in uh, one of my matchbook videos uh, where that location was. Citizen News and, and Edwin's apartment, they were all uh, in the vicinity within a mile or two of Raleigh Studios. I thought I told you not to come back until next week. Oh, I know you did, but I had a free day today, so I thought I'd come by and see if there's anything needed doing. Well, there isn't anything, so you could have saved yourself the trouble. I was going to write you a note, but now you're here, I may as well tell you. We're not going to be needing you anymore. But I don't understand. We're closing up the house.
You're right on time, aren't you? Yes, yes, I believe I am. Come in. After Baby Jane, Victor appeared in the movies Beneath the Planet of the Apes and Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. On TV, Fantasy Island, Alice, The Hardy Boys, Ellery Queen, The Mod Squad, Taxi, and The Flying Nun. He appeared as the villain King Tut in 10 episodes of Batman during its three-season run. Actress Lee Merriweather, who once played Catwoman, claims that Borno told her he knew he wouldn't live past the age of 32. That wasn't true. Towards the end of his life, Victor moved to Apple Valley, California, about 90 minutes from Los Angeles. It's not known if he ever had a love interest. He once said, I've heard or read about actors being asked the immortal question, why have you never married? They answered with the immortal excuse, I just haven't met the right girl yet. Because I'm on the hefty side, no one's asked me yet. If they do, that's the answer I'll give. After all, if it was good enough for Montgomery Clift or Sal Mineo. In 1981, it was announced that Bueno had been cast in the Broadway show Who Done It, but he didn't last that long. On December 31, 1981, Victor drove to Long Beach to spend New Year's Eve with his brother and family. They spent the evening reminiscing by the fire. His brother tried to convince Victor to stay, but after ringing in the new year, Victor decided to drive the almost two-hour trip back to Apple Valley. On January 1, 1982, just a few hours later, Victor's long-term, very close caretaker, Richard Martinez, discovered Victor's body on the dining room floor. He was dead of a heart attack brought on by gross exogenous obesity. He was 43 years old. Victor was cremated. His funeral was held at St. Cyprian's Catholic Church in Long Beach, California. A rosary was held for him at Greenwood Memorial Park in San Diego, California, the city where Victor was born. His cremains were placed with his mother in a wall crypt. His name has never been added. Thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to my friend CC for sending me the awesome Victor Buono LP and Patreon Miguel Lopez Rosen for getting the footage of Victor's final home. Miguel, it's very much appreciated, as is the support that I get from you. Please like, please subscribe. If you want to know when I upload videos, hit the little bell alongside the subscribe button. A special thanks to Patreon supporters Cindy Failer, Dale Scarzett, Jeff Combs, Erica, James Harrington, Amanda Beard, and Dodd Hackman. Thank you so much for your time and for your attention. And until next time. You heard me. Ooh. Here comes Super Chief. <laughs>